Hi everyone, it's Miss Mandy here with you today. I would like to take a moment and welcome those of you who are tuning in new to Calvary's Kids. Last week we had a lot of viewers and I'm so thankful for that. I'm so glad to have you with us. I hope you enjoy our time together. And I want to say thank you to those who are sending in pictures. I am really appreciative and it blesses my heart to see those pictures come in. Thank you. Let's open up in prayer. We need to pray for our loved ones to be saved, Santiago and our prayer box, and especially no technical difficulties. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for our time together. We ask, Father God, that you um, bless all those that are in our prayer box, Lord. You know their needs, their heart desires, and their healing. Father God, you're the author of healing, and you will bless everyone in this box. We lift up Santiago, our sponsor child, to you, Lord, from Mexico. We ask that um, we continue to bless him through our ministry. We ask that you help our loved ones to be saved. Give us the strength, the faith, and the courage to be able to speak boldly for you, Jesus, and to tell our loved ones about you. We ask also, Father God, through our session today, that we have no technical difficulties. We pray this prayer in Jesus' name. And everyone said, Amen. So today, we are going to play another video from our Roar of VBS, the album that we had last summer. It was a great VBS that we had. The song that we're going to play is, I'm Trusting You, God. Something that we need to do every day is to trust in Him.
I'm trusting you, God. I hope that is going to be something that you're going to try to do this week as well as myself. Now it's time to see what's going on at Mooseberry Masterclass. Last week, we found out that Stephanie cheated and caused Mooseberry Masterclass to be disqualified, making Gooseberry the winners. So what will become of Stephanie? Check it out. The students here at Mooseberry are very upset. We spent the last month raising money for missionaries in a fundraising competition with this other school, Gooseberry. We won, but then we were disqualified. Flash! Student found cheating! Stephanie says she didn't realize what she did was wrong. The whole school has been branded as cheaters. And now a student from Gooseberry has requested to come over and talk to us. Probably to rub it in. These are the chronicles of the Mooseberry Masterclass and the exceptional and very, very, very gifted students who attend, and also Alex. Hello, Mooseberry. I'm Epiphany from Gooseberry. Good morning, Epiphany. <laughs> I'm here to make a confession. While it's true that Stephanie did cheat in this competition, I'm also aware of cheating that took place in our school. In fact, Stephanie was working with Gooseberry. We gave her money to get caught cheating on purpose. I knew it! Well, I'm as surprised as any of you. I'll make sure the head mooster and the head gooster both know what happened. We'll let them decide what should be done. Thanks for your time. and. I'm sorry I didn't speak up sooner. What do you have to say for yourself? What can I say? I thought I would get away with it. I guess I'm not totally buying all the Jesus stuff. Do your worst. I suppose there should be consequences to her actions, but I think we should also forgive her. That's what Jesus wants. I disagree. You don't think that's what Jesus wants? I'm just saying, I don't think it matters what she hears about Jesus. She's not interested. So what's the point of trying to represent Jesus to her? I have a lot of respect for you, Jasper. You might be the smartest kid at Mooseberry. As if. But in the Bible, there are times when Jesus' followers had to help each other know how to live. They gave each other advice and reminders about Jesus. Jasper, we're supposed to forgive others because Jesus forgave us. When people like Stephanie are given undeserved forgiveness, that puts them one step closer to deciding to live like Jesus too. We have to remember, we've all needed forgiveness. You're right. Thanks for the reminder, pal. Let's do what we can to help Stephanie learn to live as a believer in Jesus. Seriously? You're forgiving me? I can get away with anything. And now, Stephanie, for your consequences. Aw, oh, man. Paul wrote to the Galatians about going to Jerusalem with Barnabas and Titus. He went quietly to talk with the leaders, James, Peter, and John. When they heard he was sent to preach the gospel to the Gentiles, those who were not Jews, they welcomed Paul and Barnabas. They all agreed Paul should go and preach to the Gentiles. In Antioch, Paul heard that Peter, sometimes called Cephas, often spoke to the Gentiles and ate meals with them, at least for a while. But when other believing Jews came to Antioch, Peter stopped spending time with the Gentiles or eating with them. Others saw what Peter did, and they too withdrew from the Gentiles. Even Barnabas changed what he was doing. Paul knew this was not right. He was so disappointed with Peter, and he scolded Peter in front of everyone. Sometimes you are comfortable with Gentiles living like they do, and yet other times you expect them to change who they are and follow Jewish rules. Paul reminded Peter that no one is saved except by faith in Jesus. Paul told Peter that he did not have to worry about following old ways of doing things. Following rules does not save people. Faith in Jesus does. God offers new life in Christ to all believers.
What? Mooseberry and Gooseberry both cheated? Oh no, that was terrible. Jasper wanted Stephanie to pay for what she did, but Lannis wanted to show her the love of Christ and to be able to win her heart for Jesus. Lannis convinced Jasper he was wrong for his thinking. He needed to forgive her. They all needed to forgive her. So stay tuned next week to see what is the fate of both Mooseberry and Gooseberry Masterclass. We'll go on to today's verse. I have been crucified by Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live, the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Galatians 2.20 what does that verse mean? It means that when we become followers of Jesus, he lives and dwells in us and through us. How wonderful is that to know? Jesus lives in our hearts. When we accept him and we welcome him in, he lives and he dwells in our heart. What a beautiful, beautiful verse. It's comforting to know that when we do accept Jesus, that he is in our hearts and he dwells there in with us. So today's lesson, Paul taught Peter. Last week, Paul preached to an angry crowd of people. He was almost thrown into prison, but he had to talk to the crowd one more time. Paul decided he was going to speak in their own language. He spoke to them about what happened to him on his way to Damascus and how he became a Christian. And to tell them how he, they needed to repent of their sins and turn their lives to Jesus. In today's lesson, Paul wanted to go to Antioch and preach about Jesus, so he had to meet with James, Peter, and John. They felt it was a great thing to do. Paul found out, though, that Peter was preaching and eating with the Gentiles. Then when the Jews came around, he stopped preaching to them. Paul was angry at this, and he spoke to Peter, and he told him that he was not to do that, and that, to, that he was okay to, to live by faith and to teach people to live by faith and have faith in Jesus, and to follow the ways of Christ and the life that God offers, new life in Christ to all believers. Are you telling people about Jesus? I continue to encourage you to do so. God is calling all of us as Christians to talk about Jesus and to introduce Jesus to everyone. If you do not know Jesus and would like to have a special relationship with him, I would love to pray with you right now. Bow your heads and say this prayer with me. Jesus, I am a sinner and I ask you to forgive me. Come into my heart today I ask this in your holy name, Jesus. Amen. It's a great feeling when you invite Jesus to come into your heart. I would love to hear from you if you gave your life to Jesus today. Our address will be right here on the screen for you to be able to send me a letter. Again, I would love to hear from you. Let's close in prayer and bow our heads one more time. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask that you bless our week together. We thank you for our time together. And we ask that you just continue to bless each and every one that is watching here this video today. We ask everything in Jesus' name. Amen. Everyone, it's been wonderful to be with you today. I pray for God's blessing in your life and the lives of your family. See you next week, Lord willing. Mm -hmm.